Good afternoon. I thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak. I respect each and every one of you, as well as the power granted to your elected positions by our creator, the one true God. Like the others you had heard from today, I am here to plead with you on behalf of those being brutally murdered in each one of your districts, in our city, and in our state. I have to stand up and speak because these children no longer have a voice. They are dead. As their mothers cry themselves to sleep, heavily burdened by their choice to destroy a living being, I am here as a female voice begging for your support. These children, endowed by their creator as unique and special, need you to do your job. These women need you and are relying upon you to stand up for them, protect them, and educate them on their other options. Allowing and promoting abortion on demand does not give women health care rights. It harms them. Asking a doctor to stick metal instruments inside of you to rip out pieces of your unborn child is a traumatic experience that does nothing to end the consequences of your decision. The sad truth is these women are still mothers. They are just mothers of dead babies. Because of this truth, abortion most certainly is anti-woman. Not only because it ravages the womb of women, but also because it destroys a young girl's chance to become a woman. Millions of women have no chance to be elected by their peers. Millions of women have no chance to play sports or serve their country. Millions of women and all their ideas have died at the hands of those who are supposed to protect them. That includes you and you and even though you won't look up from your phones right now, that includes you too, and you are responsible. By abdicating your responsibility to uphold the law and protect the innocent, you are participating in a great moral evil that robs children of their future. You were elected to serve this city and its inhabitants by upholding the law and punishing those who seek to undermine your authority and well-being of those you preside over. You guys are tasked with making moral judgments all the time, so you cannot pretend that there's nothing you can do. We are here to demand you move now to save those innocent among us. It's part of your job. You can regulate, establish fines, and make Phoenix a sanctuary city for the unborn. Councilman DeCicio, I wish you were here in person. I want to ask you personally to stand up today. Prove your walk can match your talk. The last time I was here, you said, I'm pro-life. What does that mean? Be a man and protect women and children like you have been chosen to do. Your constituents will support you, sir. I ask all of you today, uphold Arizona Revised Statute 13-3603, which states that those who dissolve human beings chemically or suck them limb from limb from their mother's womb shall be sent to prison. Do your duty. Support women. Save children. Thank you.